Cool. How's it going, AltConf? My name is Sam Agnew. I'm a developer evangelist at Twilio. Uh, how many of you have heard of Twilio before? Cool, decent number of you. For the few of you who haven't, with Twilio, you, the developer, can build apps that communicate with everyone in the world. But that can mean literally anything. That could be anything from adding chat or video conferencing to your iOS app, to implementing two-factor auth, and much more. But uh, right now, I'm gonna show you how to write some code to send and receive text messages and make and receive phone calls using server-side Swift. So, I'm gonna start by buying a Twilio phone number that I can programmatically control. I'm gonna try to get one in the San Jose area. Uh, Palo Alto looks close enough, so I'm gonna grab that one. And uh, now, now once I have this phone number, I can configure it so that whenever someone sends a text message or a phone call to my, to my number, Twilio will send an HTTP request to a URL that I give it, and that'll be a web app that will respond with some Twimmel, which is Twilio's set of XML tags that tells, tells us what to do with the call or text. So down here in this messaging section, I am going to link it to a Swift Vapor app running on my local machine, so sagnu.ngrok.io slash SMS. So whenever you send a text message to this, Twilio will send a post request to that URL. There's only one issue though. Right now, that app is kind of incomplete. I have some code here, just a really bare bones app. It doesn't have any routes on it though. So I'm gonna create a route and it's gonna take post requests and it's gonna be uh, the SMS route as you saw me just write in my Twilio console. This is gonna take a request and it's gonna return an HTTP response object. So the first thing on this route is I'm going to create some Twimmel. It's just gonna be a string of XML and that Twimmel will have a response object and in that response there will be a message. So what I'm doing here is I'm telling Twilio to respond with a text message from the number that is receiving a text message. That message is gonna say, happy hacking. If you have any questions, I'm gonna give you my Twitter handle, at Sagnew Shreds, or my email address, Sagnew at Twilio.com. Sagnew meaning Sam Agnew, uh, shreds as in shredding on a guitar. So, next I'm going to create my HTTP response object, and it's gonna have a status of okay, because I wanna return an HTTP 200 and the body of that response is going to be the, uh, the Twimmel that I just wrote. Uh, I'm also going to make sure that the content type is XML, and then I'm just gonna return that response. So that's cool, that's how you respond to a text message, but you can also do phone calls, and uh, I'm gonna do what every good developer does, I'm gonna copy and paste my code. So this new route, I'm not gonna change much, just the name, which will be call, because this will be the route that receives a phone call, and instead of sending you a message, I am going to play you a song because this play tag takes a link to an MP3 on the internet and plays it over a phone call. So I'm going to uh, link to something we use in our documentation pretty frequently for examples. You might recognize it, but I won't spoil anything. With that said, I'm gonna run this and uh, in 10 seconds or so when it's done building, I'm gonna have everyone here, I'm gonna need you to take your phones out because you're about to send a text message to my Twilio number. Cool, and it looks like it's running. So, everyone pull out your phones and send a text message, any message you want, to 650-460-2884. So that's, I'm gonna send one too. 650-460-2884. And if you get a response, I want you to wave your phone in the air and say, server-side Swift rules. Cool, that guy, yeah. Cool, looks like people are getting responses. Um, and looks like people like server-side Swift. That's pretty, pretty rad. So you just saw uh, some code to respond to a text message. Uh, but we could do phone calls too. But you might notice that I didn't add a URL to the call route on my app because uh, I don't want you to, you don't need to send me all phone calls. You all just did so much work for me already that I'm gonna send all of you a phone call using the Twilio REST API. So over here I have a, I have a script with uh, all the boring stuff already written. I'm, I'm gonna be sending an HTTP request to the Twilio REST API to send everyone a phone call who texted my number. So I'm using Alamo Fire to do that, Swifty JSON to parse the, the Twilio JSON responses. And over here I have my account SID and auth token. These are my Twilio authentication credentials. Um, and these are the two URLs for the API endpoints I'm gonna be hitting. This list URL variable, uh, you can see at the end I have a, uh, a query parameter that just contains my Twilio number. So that's gonna grab all the messages sent to my Twilio number. 
Speaking of which, I should, uh, I should copy and paste that and put it in this variable so that it works. Cool, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to create an Alamo Fire request and that's gonna go to this list URL. And uh, I'm gonna need to authenticate. This is just basic web auth, so I'm going to make, the user is going to be my account SID and the password is gonna be my auth token. And I'm going to receive a JSON response And in this response, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to iterate through all the messages, but first I'm gonna need to parse that JSON. So I'm gonna grab the, uh, the value of the result in that response, parse it into JSON, and then I'm gonna go through all the messages sent to my Twilio phone number. So this will be in uh, the messages array in that JSON object. And for each of those messages, I'm actually gonna, I'm gonna send a phone call for each of them. And right now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to create a set of numbers so that I don't send any duplicate phone calls because I don't wanna spam you if you sent me a bunch of messages, if you spammed me basically. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to create a variable for the number that this message was sent from. And that is a JSON object, so I'm just gonna convert it to a string real quick. I'm gonna force unwrap that. You all have my Twitter handle, so if you wanna yell at me on Twitter later for force unwrapping something on a live demo, you can do that. Um, so now that, I, now that I have the number that this was sent from, I'm going to check to see if my numbers set contains that number, and uh, if it doesn't, then I'm going to create a phone call, and I'm gonna add that to my set. So. So that way, if it comes up again, I don't send you two calls. Next, I'm going to do another Alamo Fire request. Uh, this time, it's gonna be a post request, so I'm gonna have to create a dictionary of parameters for what's gonna be in the post body. So the number that this phone call is gonna be sent from is my Twilio number. The number that it's sent to is your number, the number from the text. And the URL telling it what to do with the call will be the, uh, will be the, call route on my Vapor app that you saw me write a minute ago. Next, I'm gonna copy and paste some code again because I'm doing an Alamo fire request. And this time, not really gonna do that much with the, with the response. So it's gonna be the uh, call URL instead. It's gonna be a post request and it is going to have these parameters. So next, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna print the response when I get it, just so I'm doing something here. And that's all the code I should need to write. If uh, line six, 16. Oh, suit, not, not set. Thank you so much. So now I'm gonna run this, and uh, you should all turn your ringtones on, because you should be about to receive uh, some tunes, and it's probably gonna be a, a song that you recognize, perhaps. Uh, someone's getting a phone call. You wanna put that on speakerphone real quick? Does anyone recognize it? Yeah, so that's how you see how to write some code to send and receive text messages and make and receive phone calls. Uh, that's the, all the code you need to write to rickroll the audience at AltConf. My name is Sam Agnew, I'm a developer evangelist at Twilio. I will be at the Twilio booth if you have any questions later and I'm also, when I get off stage here, gonna send a text message to everyone with some tutorials on the code that I just wrote. So come find me if you have any questions, thanks. <laughs>